Well, I think we can get started. Just like to say good morning to everybody. Uh, my name is Kate Sanderson, and I'd just like to welcome you to this workshop on the marine environment and sustainable resource management. I think the focus of the workshop is clear. It's been clearly outlined in the program, so I won't repeat it here, uh, word for word. I'll just begin by introducing myself. Um, I'm uh, currently employed in the Ministry of Fisheries and Natural Resources. Uh, my work focuses in, in particular on international cooperation on marine resources, both on a regional basis and also through various global processes, including um, the FAO, where the Faroe Islands have recently become associated member. Um, I'd just like to indulge uh, in a short commercial break for a brochure that's just been published. This has been produced by the F Ministry of Fisheries and Natural Resources, um, a brochure in English which uh, gives a, a general overview of fisheries and fisheries management uh, in the Faroes. And these are available outside uh, on the tables. Um, my assistant is uh, Agnes Moltz-Moschensen, who is a biologist specializing in seaweed and currently working on a project that's looking at uh, the potential for cultivating seaweed uh, commercially in, in the Faroes. Um, Agnes is sitting over there. <laughs> She'll be helping the speakers uh, with various technical uh, assistance. So, Well, just to begin with, um, I don't plan to preempt presentations and discussions with any lengthy introductory remarks, but I would like just to start by stating the obvious, that the subject of this workshop is obviously a fundamental one for us here in the Faroe Islands as a nation so very much dependent on the sea and its resources. Uh, I think also it's very welcome and perhaps long overdue here in the Faroes to have this chance to focus on the interrelationship between climate change and its effects on the marine environment and what this means for fisheries management, especially in such a broad and international forum. We'll be exploring the present state of scientific knowledge about how climate change affects the dynamics and producti productivity of marine ecosystems in our North Atlantic region. The very ecosystems that provide us with valuable renewable natural resources. Resources which I think we should also remember make an important contribution to global food security. And we'll be addressing what our management responses should be to the major challenges we're facing. So I would urge you to think about some key questions and issues for the general discussion at the end of our our workshop here this morning. Questions for scientists, for industry, managers, policy makers, questions for everybody actually. Um, some examples might be, I'll just throw these out to begin with and of course we'll return to the, 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 the general issues uh, towards the end of the, of the program. But some examples might be, <coughs> how do we plan for a future in fisheries that's so uncertain but potentially very different both in the short and long term? Uh, does fisheries management today have the necessary tools to respond to major ecological changes? What should be the main priorities for scientific research in a world where there's so much competition for often limited funding? And to rephrase Al Gore somewhat, is political will an endangered species when it comes to addressing these issues? So with these few remarks, I now turn to the program at hand. Uh, as you will see, we have a very tight schedule um, <clears throat> and speakers have been asked to limit their presentations to a maximum of 15 or 20 minutes. There's a slight difference with some of this. Some, some have 15 minutes, some have 20. My main task as facilitator is to hold the speakers to this commitment and I can be very ruthless if I need to be. If speakers do manage to finish their uh, presentations within or before their whole full time is up, uh, then I will allow one or two short questions for clarification and comment uh, between presentations. But I would ask that uh, we keep the, any general comments um, and remarks until the final discussion session because we really need to keep to the schedule as much as we can. 
Um, also, I'd just like to add that I would be happy to translate any questions or comments from the floor. If anybody feels more comfortable raising a point in Faroese or another Nordic language, I can offer my services as translator, um, if that's preferred. Um, just a couple of practical things before we really get started. First of all, I um, would ask you all to respect our speakers and everybody else in the audience by turning off your mobile phones. Give you a second to think about that. Just check that you've done it. I can see a few movements in the, in the hall. Fine, I think mine's, somebody, I think I've done my own, yes. Uh, and uh, another point was the organizers had asked me to, um, have you got that, Oliver? Yeah, the organizers asked me to draw your attention to a a sheet that uh, will be passed around. It's a it's a, an evaluation sheet that people will be uh, the organisers would ask you to kindly fill out an evaluation of the conference. So that will go around. Yeah. Okay. Well, with those introductory remarks, I will now call on our first speaker, who is uh, Michaela Askan who is a professor in fisheries biology at the Norwegian College of Fisheries Science in Tromsø. And Michaela's presentation, as she pulls it up on the screen, is entitled Effects of Fishing and Climate Change on Marine Ecosystems, Marine Ecosystems in the North Atlantic. <laughs> 